What's up, everybody? And I hope you enjoyed that intro. I'm Jordan with Sorvis Media, and I'm back with a follow-up video. If anybody who has watched my channel before, you know it's new, and I uploaded a couple of videos, and then it's been a while. Um, as of right now, it is August 10th, 2020. We all know there has been a lot of things going on this year. So I just wanted to kind of make this video because um, I know that some I know that some of you guys have been I won't say some a lot of you guys probably have been effective creatively due to everything that's going on in the world right now and I just wanted to let you guys know you're not alone it happened to me um, I live in Florida and we got put on a stay-at-home order in April and I kind of had to move all my stuff out of my office I went home um, all my clients had canceled or postponed everything that we have been working on and I uh, um, didn't really have anything to do at that point I had one client um, it was a political client that was like yeah we're doing a little bit of work but it wasn't really much um, and uh, it, it kind of got to me um, staying at home for 30 days only leaving to go for groceries and um, that's it I mean that's all, I think that's all we ever did was just go and uh, get groceries and I have a few kids and um, I have four kids in total but two live with me all the time and the other two are there with me periodically so it was a very interesting time for me and uh, I think it kind of put me in a creative rut after that I kind of stopped doing anything I kind of stopped um, pursuing things that were of interest to me and I kind of um, just did that and I, I um, took me a while to get out of it after we got back to work I uh, got a new client and she put me to work and she as of this point since um, let's see I, yes since May um, she's had me working every month on different projects for one big or different elements for one really big project so I've been very grateful for that and that's kept us afloat at this point and um, but I really wanted to get back in doing YouTube and um, it's just because that's like one of my favorite mediums like that's my favorite platform to consume media I I watch movies you know I watch films um, but I don't really like to watch anything else. I just spend the majority of my time when I do watch something, it is on YouTube. And I follow a lot of great filmmakers, a lot of great tech YouTubers, a lot of great just tips and trick guys, um, comedians. It's just a very, and everybody knows, very di diverse place for um, some great content. And um, so that being said, I kind of wrote down a couple points and that's why you keep hearing this I've got paper because I'm old um, and I kind of want to talk about things I talked a little bit about struggles that I've been going through with this year and um, I had to deal with the stress of the pandemic but I really wanted to ask you guys like you guys let me know how did you adapt how did you deal with the stress how did you get yourself out of a box creatively um, if you are creative or if you do anything else I'm I'm really I'm really interested in hearing what you guys have to say where where we live is kind of a closed community we I don't interact with a lot of people just um, some people that are in my co-working shared office space and, uh, and you know my client and then my family so we do have somewhat of a creative community in Pensacola, but not very involved. I don't know why. I've just never been super, what is the word I'm looking for? Super, never been super, like, interested. Not interested. I don't know. I just haven't. Let's just leave it at that before I get in trouble. <laughs> um, so, 
another thing I wanted to kind of give you guys um, or wanted to talk to you guys about was who I am and not just this and what I do, um, but who I am as a person and um, how I kind of got started in this. So it, it really goes back. I'm 29 now back. I'm 29 now and I got my hands on my first professional camera at the age of 13 and they were old like DV big cassette tape um, broadcast cameras I don't even know what they were I can't even remember um, I worked for WSRE um, PBS channel 23 here locally and I was an intern I got hired on shortly after uh, 15 hours a week like 9 and 15 an hour which was big money back then for me and uh uh, I got to do like just random things like telethons and I used to follow around. I used to be the cameraman for this. Um, what was this? It was like this doctor in town and he went and talked about trees and old stumps. It was not very interesting, but I was just his out in the field camera op. I would go and film the B-roll for his actual show. I did some crawfish festival um, coverage and uh i think a cooking show yeah i can't remember but not very much but i absolutely loved it um it was weird being 13 and everyone else around me was like adults and you know it was it was it was super like it called to me it was like this is this is really cool like even though it was such low level being a local PBS station, I, I absolutely loved it. Um, and then after that, my parents got me like a little TV. I don't know, this little like camcorder. I got this book from Barnes and Noble in the days when we used to have to get books to learn anything. And um, it was this book. And if I can find it, I'll put it up on the screen. But it was something called So Kappa, and it was like tips and tricks for beginning or something about film directing and being a dummy i mean it wasn't like film directing for dummies but it was for it was for kids um or teenagers or preteens or whatever you want to call them and uh i love that book it came with a dvd and kind of show and like it, it did everything with like show me how to properly shoot handheld um how to make production equipment with broomsticks like a boom bowl um, it was a really, really cool book, and I absolutely, like, I just wouldn't stop reading it. I read it over and over again, and then I made this really weird video, I would say, and I cannot track it down. I have no idea where it is at this point, but, um, I made this video with my brother, and I wish I could show it to you guys, but I, I just don't. I don't think I, I'll ever find it. And me and my brother was just basically like sword fighting in with wooden swords. And he, no, well, like I had a wooden sword and he had a broomstick. No, it wasn't a broomstick. What was it? It was, man, what was that thing? It was a shower curtain rod. That's what it was. And it was interesting. I think the soundtrack was like Breaking Benjamin or something like that. Um, yeah. yeah it was weird <laughs> um if i can find it i'll show it to you guys but don't get your hopes up um and then after that i kind of um did my own thing i got a little older i started working other jobs and um as you know as most i won't say most but me as a teenage kid <laughs> i lost my mind <laughs> I just didn't think about anything anymore. I just wanted to do what the people around me. I just, I was, I, I succumbed to a lot of peer pressure. Um, that constantly got me in trouble and my parents didn't like it at all. So, um, then around the age of 17, um, I went away for a while and I did some, did some stuff. Maybe one day we'll talk about. Yeah, but not in today's video and um i just i just i left my parents house at 17 and it was a it was a really tough 
thing. I thought at the time was the most amazing thing, but I regret it. Um, and it took me a while. It took me into basically my 20s. Um, marriage, two marriages, and all this other stuff to kind of get me back to where I wanted to be. And um, but anyways, since I said I regret that, it's a good segue into my next um, point is what do I regret? Um, what do you, what do I think I could do better in the future? I one thing I regret is being worried about what I have is what is going to produce a better product. And it's really not. It's not what you have, but what you can do. Um, I've wasted a lot of money and time and getting these things that I just had no no how do I say it? I had no business getting I really didn't need it I just thought it would make me look my stuff make my stuff look better and cooler and higher resolution which really didn't do anything and right now as you saw that beginning intro I actually am filming right now on the black magic pocket cinema 4k this is the second one that I've had and I absolutely love this thing and uh, it's my favorite camera I've ever used so there's that and um, what do I think I do better in the future I do think I have had a little bit of you know I try to be like customer service based and oriented about being very accessible to my client and sometimes or actually a lot of times I'm too accessible I take calls all the time anytime and it really drives my wife nuts and it kind of drives me nuts but i'm trying to be accessible and one thing i think i can do better is just kind of set those hard lines like hey nine to five that's it you know i also another thing i think that i definitely want to do is get a dedicated company number because the number i have is my cell phone number which is not a good idea because people call me all the time and 90% of them are not real people so there's that um but yeah that's that's pretty much it um if I give anybody any advice I'm not really here to give advice but really you know no, we're not, I'm not going to give advice. I'm not to the point that I need advice. So if you guys got any advice for me, why don't you just drop it down in the comment section below? I'd love to talk to you guys. I'd love to, uh, um, you know, bring more people into this channel. Maybe we can find a format together that uh, that everybody, everyone will enjoy. Because I like doing this. It's just me getting out of my rut and finding time to and developing good content i also am planning on doing a podcast of some sort in the future with local creative people maybe it doesn't even have to be local we can get it set up doing it on zoom put some episodes out so if there's any of you guys want to be on a podcast um i will put my company i will put my company email in the uh description of this video so please reach out hit me up let me know you have any ideas if you want to if you want to do a collaboration if you enjoyed the content of this video please like this video most of all subscribe maybe hit that bell notification if you really like what i'm doing but most of all share this with your friends so we can bring more people in this community and we can grow this channel together until next time guys i'm jordan with service media and i'll see you on the next one peace